Oh my god, you guys, that actually looks so good. Like, I look so good. I've gone ahead to draw my brows off camera and we're diving right into the eyeshadow tutorial. If you're still struggling with your eyebrows, I do have a very detailed eyebrow tutorial on my channel. So make sure you check the description box below as I'm going to be leaving the link to that video in the description box. For your eyeshadow, you want to start it by priming your eyes and you can do this in two ways you can either use an eyeshadow primer that's right there's actually a primer for eyeshadows okay so you can either use that or you can use your concealer and in today's video i'm going to be using the concealer so the concealer that i'm going to be using today is the newbens in my skin concealer and this one is in the shade 46 all right i'm going to be using this concealer because this concealer dries matte you want to make sure that you use a concealer that dries matte so that everything sits nicely okay so i'm just going to be applying this over my eyelid This concealer dries really, really matte, so you want to make sure you blend it out immediately. And I'm going to be using this Soap Technique brush. As you can see, I've already used it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to be using this to blend out the concealer nicely. As you can see the concealer is already dry I'm just going to be setting this with some loose powder so that everything sits nicely i'm going to be using this flawless ivy loose setting powder to set the concealer this is in the shade banana yeah and you just want to you just want to dab in your setting powder make sure your concealer has set it nicely and we're going to be doing that on the other eyelid next stop i'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette by flawless ivy it's the Too Faced eyeshadow palette. It has a lot of beautiful colors. I mean, look at this. Beautiful colors. So, starting your eyeshadow, this is where the real work starts. You want to have a transition color. A transition color is one that would easily blend out with whatever darker color you're going to be using and whatever bright color you're going to be using. The color that can easily just blend out with any other color that you're planning on using on your eyelid. And for me, and I feel for most black women, the orange color is like the perfect transition shade. And so as you can see, we have like two different oranges. This is a deep one and this is a super bright one. But I'm going to be using this one because this one always comes out more natural looking on my eyelid. And you want to make sure you also use a very fluffy brush for this. And I'm just going to be taking that and just putting it here. Okay. You want to put it your crease and fluff it out fluff it out okay this is like the perfect shade you guys just get that nice orange shade and that's like your perfect transition color Ah, 
one that we have our transition shade in you're going to be going in next with the color that you want to put at the tail of your eyelid okay and usually you want to use a darker color so for the next step i'm going to be using this shade adorable it's like a brown and it also has like a bit of red on the tone kind of giving up like a rusty vibe and that's what i'm going to be using for the outer corners of my eyelid and i'm going to be using this fluffy brush as well to apply this dab that color right in just dab it in hmm? and then blend it out to the inner corners of your crease so this is what we're working with as at this moment and now to the main nitty gritty of the matter we're going to be moving on to our cock rings so for this you can also use the same concealer that you used initially to set your eyelid or you can go in with your eyeshadow primer either or and i'm going to be using this primer by flawless ivy okay this one comes in the white color and this actually helps to you know give your eyeshadow that rich color because it's white it's a great base to build up on whatever color you want and to make sure that you're going in with a very flat brush you guys you have to use a flat brush you just have to it doesn't have to be straight and it can be curved but it just has to be flat and because as you can see like this is my crease where you see the folds but if you're going to do a cut crease you want to do it a little bit above that because if you do it there and you know you keep opening your eyes and all the place keeps squeezing up it's going to destroy your cut crease and it's not going to be looking flawless so you want to go a little bit above that area a little bit above so instead of putting my starting my cut crease here which you can see is the creasing area you want to go in a little and you can see this inner corner is even creasing at a higher level as well you don't want to do that you want to go in a little bit above like right here so everything is smooth So there, I have achieved the area that I want to cut crease. I'm just going to do the same thing on the other eyelid so that I make sure that the two are in sync and one is not higher than the other. Because this primer is cream like in texture, I'm also going to go in with my hand and just dabbing it so that everything sets in nicely. So as you can see, I didn't get to the end of the detail of my eyelid because we need this to help blend out what we're putting inside and so i'm just going to be doing the same thing on my other eyelid as well you can see you can see the area where my eyes are actually creasing and you can see that the primer is above that area and so the eyeshadow that i'm going to be using is a triple crown baked eyeshadow by jcat beauty so it comes in three shades you have like the very golden one on top and then you have this bronze like shade 
in the center and then this really dark one below and so i'm going to be using the really golden one and the bronze one in the middle you just want to dab in you don't want to start rubbing mm -mm -mm. remember that this primer is cream like and we patted it to like let it sit so you just want to dab in so i'm going to be going in with the bronze like shade first and i'm going to just dab in that in Next up, I'm going to be going in with the brighter golden shade. Already looking so good. It's already looking so good. Like it's giving what it's supposed to give. Okay. I'm going to do my liner and fix my lashes and the rest of my face and then we can see how this is actually translating in a full face makeup look so guys this is the final makeup look everything is looking great you can really see that cut crease and it's really giving what it is supposed to give and i'm really happy about the outcome of this makeup look like Look at my face. Ah ah. Oh, I'm too bad. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and drop a comment in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed, honey, I do not need to tell you twice. Please hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.